I got a question on the um, trading sessions video about how do you take a hundred dollar or a thousand dollar account and build it up so there was no expectation of okay so what if you're gonna do that then uh, let's say you put 700 in there and try to get to a thousand so uh, the, the the hundred dollars you know that's gonna be a little rough it, you can have to baby you gotta be very careful uh, you don't want to be too careful in these markets, so I know it sounds very counterintuitive, but uh, just going for the obvious trade. So when you break, uh, you ever play pool? Uh, if you have all the balls, you can play eight ball. I think you play with all the balls. Nine balls, you take some balls off, right? You just count to nine. Like <laughs> nine ball, I guess they're doing nine balls, so the people that come home drunk from the bar have played nine ball. They get nine steps. Like, are we playing? Are we? Who's? What? Really? Are we playing pool or are we? It's a, I can't stop watching these fucking DUIs. Um, but uh, it's hot chicks getting, they're just like 20 years old and, uh, oh yeah, I haven't drank anything. <laughs> okay. So this is 50 pips. This is a 25 pip grid on these um, hash marks on the right. And then we have the um, big 100 pip handles. This zero dollar, four hour chart looking back all the way to. Uh, November of last year and I found my robots I was a little worried actually you know I kind of kind of ragged on them and now that they're missing now that I got them back I was it's like old girlfriend you know, she's not so bad after all come to think of it you know I guess I was just a little bit too impatient so I've been running through the bots here and you know in the right situation and what you're gonna have to do with these robots that I built they're free all day long but um, I'm, I'm trying to have some guy tweak a little bit so it's not a blind bot at the moment. If it says it's going to buy, oh, it's going to buy. Now, these ones are actually symmetrical. I just realized that I must have actually um, done some experimenting a few months ago. I don't know how far back. It takes take too, too much time to figure that out. So uh, swing bot here. Um, so now the swing bot concept, this is the whole my whole uh, approach is to buy into the plunge now if you're going to start with a seven hundred dollar account and you want to make money and this would be inclusive of the other question is um you know how do i pile into these uh, sell-offs and uh he said that you know originally you can you can load into a sell-off without a stop or you can do it systematic and it's funny because the um i just watched a video I should post the link at the bottom here, but uh, the you, it's hard to believe this, but uh, ICT's last name is Hutchinson, and so is this guy. This is Mark Hutchinson, not Michael. It's like his evil twin or something, or his good twin, and uh, he's talking about ICT traders, right? So liquidity filled trader. That so really auction trading, um, I suppose, right? This is this is the idea that the smart money is the against the wind yes of course now the swing trader if you're going to do that trade save save 700 bucks um how are you going to risk it right how many trades you want to do so the more you trade the safer it is if you're going for small targets so if you can make 20 dollars to 40 dollars on a trade then with a seven hundred dollar account, and you're only losing twenty dollars on a trade, and you're making forty dollars on a trade. Now this is with a different array of tickets, right? If you had a bank of ten looking to make five pips, you know this is going to be five bucks. If there's no spread. Imagine there's no spread on all these numbers. So the spread you're going to put into that later. That's going to be the problem if you're trying to make eight pips because the spread's three. Or it could be three, or you're going to trade through the news. So the most opportunity is going to be when the news comes out. But then, are you on a are you on a fixed pip broker? Is a floating spread? Are you in? Are you looking to get filled? I have a video that I did of the um, uh, non-farm payroll. It's on the other hard drive. I hope because, um, you know, I went to record it, and it was it turned out to be one channel because I have to hit a mono switch to record on this uh, system. So I'm like, huh, you know, 
in a modern world, you know, I got like three, um, you know, pretty expensive, I thought, softwares. There's no way to just kind of easily make it mono. It's a big drama, you know. I'll find the file, extract the audio. Oh, fuck that shit. I was ready to just record it on my cell phone, play it like those people do, like how they record. I don't know if that's still in, but people would record shit like off their laptop with their cell phone and publish it. <laughs> Here's my video. So I'm trying to just make this just about the, just the facts, ma'am. So that's why I have the chart and just me talking. Um, but So I've released these before. I'm going to put this in a separate file. It's just the EA. So the, this is the... The new thing, right? Elon Musk has a twenty thousand dollar robot that'll fold clothes. So I figure, I don't know what the software. I guess twenty grand for the robot, then the software is like five hundred thousand dollars. I don't know. Um, but this concept here is um, the the crude is as crude as it gets. I'm gonna run a robot here that's just gonna get in, and I think let's just double check the actual code. Now the name of this script is. Um, canvas which means we're going to just cover an area and we're going to look to accumulate a position with a hard stop bot bot means ea just i'm trying to make this like some people oh it's a robot uh, i just kind of call it a bot because um i could call it bot one bot two bot three just because naming becomes an issue when you start writing like a hundred like 500 versions of this thing so I've been doing this for years now. It's, it's so funny because every time I come back to it, I guess this is just never going to work. But it's starting to, it's start, now i got a, a computer that's not going to choke on this. But I think the other computer was freaking out. But this one's supposedly um, the latest and greatest speed. So it's not as daunting of a task because you have to run so many iterations and so many siftings to say, okay, I can see what this would do in that circumstance. I think in the end, what it's going to be for me is um, I typically will double click and drop stuff but that's becoming very annoying okay because it doesn't I hate to say this and I, I, I haven't sworn up to this point but I hate to say this but it really doesn't fucking matter because <laughs> when the market screams down mega pips if you're going to run a 200 pip stop which this robot well, I'm going to run this one here that has a 90 pip stop, supposedly. Now, this is the other thing. Let me just go back to the name of the script. So this is, I'm trying to, I don't know what you're allowed for characters here, but I'm probably reaching my limit. I think you can you have like a 23 character uh, name for your script. Windows locks you out at a certain point. You can't put like War and Peace in there. But I'm just going to say, I'm trying to streamline this. It may come down to just the acronym and then we will look that into the master file outside of this. So on a, in a tablet situation, you could run this robot. And the other modification that needs to be done to this robot is when does it run? I can actually have this robot run at a particular time of day and then shut off. And all it's going to do in this instance at the moment, the only criteria is, is has the world not blown up yet? Because if it hasn't, an hour's gone by and it's going to keep dropping this shit. Actually, every half hour, it's going to drop. Well, this is confusing. I fucked this up because I want to write seconds here, and this is going to be the length of the expiration of the script, but really it should be um, when are they going to drop and how long are they going to be around because this is the, the way the code's written from top to bottom. So keeping that kosher, so to speak, and the um this is a ENG means engulfing. Um in other words the way the cash outs are designed. Now, if you ran five styles of this and your canvas area is always going to be this pocket from twenty pips to ninety pips, and maybe there's another robot running on top of this dropping at another rate with a different expiration. This is like opening multiple stores across the country. And just saying, yep, somebody might come in there and want to fucking get, um, you know, like, who knows, a, a, a gallon of LSD. <laughs> and, uh, you know, something to last them through the end of the month, you know, just to try to, like, try to deal with the insanity of the way people are thinking. And we only trade the euro dollar, by the way. Euro dollar, um, you could get a tight spread. You can run ridiculous, um, really high-frequency trades because... 
you got an entry five pips deep and you're getting out to make three and a half pips and um, you got a ton of those you just made you know you could make 20 bucks you know if with, with a tight spread the market tightens up to a half a pip or like zero pips and you're paying um, two dollars round turn fixed so it goes to zero right I think psychologically if you're trading pulling the trigger at the market and you see the spread go to zero that's a pretty good buy there's I'm sure there's robots could monitor for spread it keeps looking at spread every time there's a tick all I'm doing is laying nets so I'm netting for fish instead of getting a hook and saying oh I know this is a really cool spot here I'm just trading zones and giant um, canvases of, of now I could put really deep I wrote one today it's so fucking deep. And I ran in a particular direction. Because I ran in a particular direction, I knew what was happening in the market on the chart. And when I look back, I knew that this this strategy would work great because we retraced many times, even though the market really didn't go anywhere. I mean, I mean, it went somewhere. Like this, you could say this is going up here on this chart. Relatively, it's going up, right? But which, what, what was what was the better trade and what which one made more money in less time? Um, we, you see you have this $700 account. You're trying to get to 1000 so at least you can say, well, at least I made 300 I can stop right here and be like, I put 1000 in there. I, I'm actually got a leg up on the situation because the drawdown. So um, the, the discipline comes automatically if the robot is let. If you tell the robot, go do this. So now you're the manager. Everybody's like, I want to be the boss. Well, you, you, there, you just told this fucker, you go do that shit. And you're not really enslaving. Although I'm, I'm, I'm afraid, yeah, M <coughs> MT4 becomes self-aware. Yes, I am going to buy, build myself a tunnel five stories deep to the left of here for 800 feet. Just saying, I'm not saying which direction. And I'm just going to be in the corner there watching YouTube videos. So they say there's you couldn't watch them all before you die. So I'll just, you know, just uh, have people drop meals down a tube. I'll be down there in the bunker. Bunkers, that's going to be the new thing they're selling now. Bunkers, I that's going to, you know, that's the next thing coming. I hope everybody's aware of this. Um, you want to be able to dig down, right? Because this is going to be nuclear war. You want to have like... Um, when, it, when it's hot, you want to go down there where it's nice and cold, and when you come back up to the surface, you got your guns loaded, you've been prepping downstairs, right? Come up. See what I'm saying? <laughs> you want to get that. You want to get all lined up. So this trade, I would have been out of this trade just looking at it visually, but I'm going to run a robot here. <laughs> it's just going to be nuts, okay? Um, this is a little bit different time scheme on this one. I have a different color scheme here, so this has nothing to do with the other one, really. I don't think so. I have a different um, this one in the Asian session. No, this this is it. I'm sorry, I forgot what I said. No, this is one, the four hour chart kind of flipped me out there a little bit. So the one hour chart, same scheme. This is my um, 7 p.m. starting, running till uh, 2 a.m. This is the European session in blue. 2 a.m. start on the uh, European session. And the um, U.S. is starting at 8 o'clock. So this includes the drama that comes out during the news, chops off the, um, possibly chops off the session from Europe. So this is a classic, in my opinion, um, when the market's going sideways and it's, you know, you'll see the situation when the news. The, the problem is... Um, if you if you've got the seven hundred dollar account, I would say you want to be in a thirty k maybe down here. Now, if you this is gonna be take a little bit of time, but if you do the single drops, it's more work, but of course it's you make more money. The better ratios, you know, you look like a genius because you're picking the very edge of the market without regard to anything else. And if the spread here, the spread here is too fixed, which means you've got to start buying, uh, not at the edge here. So you have to figure how much are you going to get into this thing? 
And how many pips are you trying to make? 25 pips, then I've got, um, I can make 13 pips on some of these situations. Like here is, um, I'm not going to be able to put in a big enough ticket here, so I know this does exist, this situation, where it came down a little bit lower later. But um, I'm not going to put them in that tight. I'm going to buy a 25-bit range because I don't know how deep it's going to go. And I don't want to miss out. So I've, I've engineered all the psychological things. I've taken care of that in a spectrum of um, a death of a thousand cuts. I've accept the a bed of nails up front, so to speak. And then I luxuriate in the uh, acceptance of, that, of the fact. I let the robot do it, and I've been doing it, but you know it's better to let the robot do it because I'm not awake every moment. And this is a one-hour chart, so when this thing dropped here severely, if I had some shallow short-term bots going in here, SSBs, S S S uh, TBs, short term shallow bots, um, or yes, either direction too. Could have easily sold up there, and this yin and yang's going on on this fifteen on this uh, one hour chart. Just plugging along here. These dramatic moves here. You have to have um, be trading at the market and waiting for the up. So you want to close, you see a close up here, you see a double top, you see it up there at the top of the hour, you sell. It's double top, we'll just assume, right? Now you're going to put your stop above that, and maybe you got a buy limit there to go reverse it. If you're wrong, you, there's you know a million strategies, but we'll assume that's a double top, right? Then we go to the uh, next rally, sell it, sell, sell every rally. You could have also scalped it if you came in like this and, and said, well, I'm just going to put the uh, yield. Uh, here, let me just turn on my box here, my rectangle. I guess get more screen space here. We don't have the rectangles turned on. That's not good. So the break, broker's trying to keep you from making money. Uh, by the way, this is a big secret. Got to put the rectangle in. They don't give you that one. It's not a freebie. You got to go fucking make it out. So I could have bought this, right? To me, this is a buy signal or a buy zone. And the, the default's blue on this, huh? Okay. It's going to be like that. I'll go dim gray. Um, dim gray. Um, how about the dim gray suit, please? But it closes below uh, this uh, thing. So that's a buy at the market, the situation. Now, I do res I do have the 20% buy at the market if I'm going to wake up at fucking, um, this is probably um, 3 in the morning or something. Middle of the European session here, this rally. Then it'll collapse. But I like these uh, situations where, yes, if you put in buy limits all the way down, this is um, a lot of pips, the robot be would be doing that for me. Because these things do happen in the market. They really do happen. How long do you want to be in these trades is the other question. Because if, you, if you're trying to make a 150 pips with a 75-pip um, stop, and not on one ticket, but if it is one ticket, we keep getting stopped out of a, a 10K. So the other approach of this is, okay, you put on a 10K, with a what's the difference? Not not too much. Put on a 10k. I could write I could write the robot like that. And you could see what it looks like. Um. So I'll be testing because the computer's fast enough. If I don't feel like I'm pushing a string. Before, it was pretty rough. It'd be like trying to push you out of a ditch by pushing at the end of the rope, hoping it's frozen enough that you know there's some type of rigidity there. I mean, pour some uh, stuff on it, but um. If you look at this 25 pip window here, 
yeah, this crawling up, and I know that people are trading this shit, or the market's just doing this. The, the, whether you jump on these breakouts or not is up to you. The most This is the simplest uh, chart in the world. This is closing prices only, and I've bracketed off the sessions. So, yes, at some point, we know, without having to look at all the bars and all the fucking um, uh, wicks and all that shit, that the box is telling us that, yes, yeah, sometimes during, from uh, 2 o'clock in the morning here, we somehow hit, a, somewhere, one of these candles hit a low there. So if your basket of entry, and it'd probably be difficult, uh, if you've ever traded the five-minute chart, it might be difficult to step back and put on these kind of trades because you're not thinking of, uh, you're looking at patterns on the on the 15-minute on the thinking, oh, this is the bottom of the 15. Well, you just wouldn't have that thought if you trade like this because in your, in your fill rate here is pretty low, um, this style of trading. I mean, there, there's fucking an infinite styles of trading you know at that point right like this would be retracement trading but in, within that genre there's going to be people scalping and people uh holding this could be a monthly chart and they're like yeah right here man i was just fucking bet the ranch i waited five and a half years for this fucking trade i got a fibonacci i got a crossover it's it's if i can give this five star trade right here buddy this tri can you see the triangle what are you fucking retarded like this is barely moving will the market close then Kablamo falls to the floor here. Well, now the the guy that can handle gobbling this shit up, when it make, when it breaks this one, you know he's got to be getting out. Or the the new guys are coming in short on the top of this the high this day, when this uh, gets filled. And you're just looking at the closing prices. It looks like a moving average, but it is right of one moving average of one of zero. But see, people are looking at this shit, and I'm like, dude, my head's exploding, right? When I saw this, I go, oh, I understand RSI, and I put RSI on this, and it all makes sense. Here's a here's a reversal on RSI. I, I'll bet you this is probably a reversal on RSI on a two- or three-period RSI. And so once you see this, I guess you can't unsee it. It's like, you know, the, 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 the checks with dicks. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. But this is but oh, closing price is only right. Moreover, moreover, bought at a lower price than this is probably reverse. So if you extend this to be your target, and then boom, your target's hit. You know, for the little trade. What else? Price pulses like this. Uh, here, this is a measured move, right? Comes up, pulls back, boom. The end of the day, right? Trapped under the floor. Now I'm gonna start buying here on limits because this spreads too wide. Two pips on this robot account. Two pips, no. So. I'm back testing on the robot, on their data, so I'm assuming that. But see these beautiful buys here? I love that. Now, I would have to buy here, right? i got to get in a little kind of aggressive. But the static bot that I'm going to run here, right here right now is going to be just, I'll show you the example of, I guess, the ultimate disciplined trader watching his over his shoulder as he keeps relentlessly dropping buy limits. And let's hope this 20 to 90 pip range with a hard stop. We're dropping um, orders every 30 minutes, I think, that expire in. Uh, so this is backwards, but, you know, expire in an hour. So quite a bit of drops overlapping because uh, they last an hour. So we'll have at least two of these always in the market waiting to get hit. It's very rare that it happens. Um and I don't think, if your broker doesn't mind an EA, I think we're dropping eight tickets every 30 minutes. Um, in one direction, I would, pick the, I would pick the direction on this. So right now, uh, maybe I turn on the sell bot. You know, uh, if I turn on the sell bot coming into Monday, and I know what the sell bot's doing, you know, if I turn on the short bot, or tell, tell the EA to go short only here, then I'm going to know, okay, listen, i kind of taking a risk here. I know that this is going to be about where I want to sell. I don't really, I mean, I sure, I could put tickets here, right? But if I pick a bot, trust me, there'll be a couple tickets that hit this. It's amazing. I just watched a Ryan Brown video where he's marking off these levels that he, he thinks it's reinflecting upon, in a way, 
But the wicks he's talking about, I, I mean, if you have a, a 30 pip wick, it's kind of hard to make the claim that, oh, it's, it's, it's retouching here. What, on closing prices? Yeah, I get it, closing prices. But, dude, some of these wicks will blow your fucking mind out. You know, look look how calm the, the line chart is here. You don't see any, uh, how did it get the box there again? So you turn, and you can n nicely on MT4, which is just so clean and so, so you, you know, you just got to love it. It's so clean you could die. If you switch between wicks and no wicks, or just bars and line. I think a hotkey for that going. Yeah, so you can hotkey this. You always want to see what's actually going on uh, without regard to the market manipulation works. Then you have the, the, the bars. The candles are very complicated. I think that was um, added maybe. I don't know. They say they go back to the beginning of time, so maybe be, you know, the first, first MetaTrader platform had candles on it maybe. I don't know. I do wonder when they start charting with that because I guess it goes way back. I, you know, just kind of it's funny how the they have to have a name for everything, and the Ikamushu shit. What the hell? I have with the, can't we just have sushi? Can't we just have sushi? Table nine, please, sushi. We just want something to eat. We're hungry. Look at this top become a bottom. Now this is an exquisite setup. People that like to trade setups, double bottom becomes a top on closing prices on the one-hour chart. How dumb is that? Do you feel stupid that you didn't take that trade? You know, moving average have crossed over here beautifully. You're long, big ass long downtrend. You got trend lines here. You got this break of this trend line. Yeah, but how often do you get this fucking um, fifty pip sell off? Not, not so much, you know. Well, here's kind of a bottom become a top, I guess. Here's another big collapse into Europe. It does happen. Yeah, when Europe opens, you know what I mean? They, there's a dump, right? So, But you don't have a chance to get on the train here unless you're on the half hour. You can't claim that you... You'd have to... Here's a bottom become a top. You can do that game. But, you know, those are setups you'd be looking for. If you really want to simplify your trading, just use the, the real prices... The closing prices and look if you that's the setup you trade it you know bottom becomes a top it's more we're sold a higher price i take this scalp and i'm out because if you don't if you hang on because you think it's going to keep tanking and you didn't get out here because you didn't realize well think of all the fucking limit traders that just place limits here i mean the winning scalpers because they could have scalped it here once again they could buy this scalp to this load the wagon on this Hold it till it takes out the high of the previous day. You know, this is the whole fucking, um, you know, this this is insane low, right? The, the news must have come out, some fucking drama. It comes like here. Now there's just so much left over on the short squeeze, and people want to dump here. They don't quite get it. They don't quite get it, but for good enough, right? And then kaplunk back down. So my buy is always going to be turn on the robot and let him buy this shit. Because it's going to probably be another fucking uh, nut crusher for the fucking uh, bulls. So I'm basically ball walking through the market. And you just have to get used to it. Now, I understand the guy is saying, yes, you trade without stops. Like I said, I traded like that 10 years ago and was like, wow, I just took 500 and I'm at 5,000. That's fucking amazing. Until it goes against you severely, right? And if I didn't care and I didn't care at the time. I just um, easily lose uh, three thousand dollars in the same going back and end up with two thousand. If you and I was only buying at that time, so uh, I just traded one direction because I thought if I can't get good at just trading one, perceiving a buy, then selling's going to be a little bit. Uh, so I guess I never moved past that. But since I started to look at the like look look at this beat down here now. The crush here, the reason why you want to take a, a zoom out is that the um, brutal, this brutal uh, smash down just in Europe. I know it looks really intense, but that's just one day. So if you kept trading the robot that's looking to take um, 
50 pips a day out of the market. A couple of those guys are doing pretty good just buying limits if I turn them on. So it's up to me to choose the bot at this point. The update I want to do on the, on the uh, code is to have it say, oh, the market's dropping like a rock. Let's That's going to turn on a particular bot that's designed to trade a psychotic swing. Like a psycho swing bot as opposed to a shallow um, range bot. A uh, range bot to me is kind of kind of just makes me think about a noisy market. That's uh, okay. Maybe you could make ten pips. And this is a side hustle. In other words, you, the, your store is still open. Yeah, maybe you can make a few bucks there. But the real money is going to come when the when the market goes psychotic, like this instance here, where. Um, Look at this! Look at this uh, wicked spike in Europe. This is before the markets open in United States. So this is a eight in the morning, and um, this could have been a euro. This could have been a euro dollar news event. But man, that's something else, huh? Now that is going to shear off the robot. The, so, but the robot's not going to double down so much. Um, if you sleep through that session, and I'm sure a lot of people in the United States um, that were long for whatever reason, because maybe they had some trend line back here that they were saying, oh, this is going up, can't you see? And um, that would be them saying, well, gosh, um, what the fuck happened? Now, if you were really big, you would say, what the fuck happened? Like, gosh, I thought we were kind of in pretty good shape there. Uh, like that guy, the natural gas guy with the Cuban sandwiches. And you're like, oh, look at this beautiful uh, trend here. But see, this is, is this, a, is this, a, you see the robots are, that's why MACD is kind of a pile of shit because it's such a heavy filter, you know, and then they tried to oversense it. Oh, they'll put a signal line on it, right? The histogram of histogram of histogram. But in the end, it really comes down to, I, I can't even look at some of this shit, so I have to delete that. I can't look at this uh, line on here. Anyways, it's basically, I could see my trade now. I, I mean, I'm not trading like that. I just do that for people that want to see that shit. I mean... I'm not going to waste my time with the trend line. Well, to me, I just have a sell robot turned on. He's going to sell here. He doesn't care. And, yes, all the way to here is good selling, and he's going to run shit that lasts for the next eight hours. So he's going to, this is the sell program. Right now I'm going to turn on the buy bot. Buy bot's going to constantly come in underneath like this, in this big column of tickets. But the one tweak on here, like I said, it's dropping a lot of tickets that may not matter here. When this is dropping, it's getting in front of that. And um, now the playback here is somewhere in time. This is going to be 2019 in July 15th. Do you remember where you were? So just uh, we're going to go crude. We're going to go controls uh, crude points because, um, well, we do every tick. It doesn't matter. We get the same, we'll do every tick, we get the same uh, dollar amount, but I've been testing in uh, uh, the uh, crude method. Because this was not a, there's no criteria on this shit. Other than, what time is it? This is, this is the MC Hammer bot. It's hammer time. It's, it's, it's drop limit time. That's what time it is. And I'm going to use my template that was just running right there. Okay, on American Sitco. Now, the speed here is 31. 32 is the max. Now, at 31, I noticed um, if I zoom in, it runs faster. Let's see, 32. 32 max. If I zoom out, it slows it down a little bit. We have to wait with the data, data to fill in. Let's look at how it's doing. So, it's going to buy only. It's a buy only. I, 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 it, the south side is turned down, but I'm not running it. So this is dropping a rack. Oh, shit, I forgot to look at the actual, make sure that's what we're running. So I, I want to make confirm because uh, so I've been making these things. Uh, I rewrote this a little bit. But I want to show you where the hard take profit. It's a hard stop, hard take profit. It's very easy to write that script because 
I just have to put one number in here. Now, I should call out the hard stop and hard take profit here at the end so you can do the math. And how many tickets is this? All right, so I don't have that info written in. I wanted the name of this, so I get back on topic here 35 minutes later. But uh, I want to make this name make sense so that um, any goober can see it's going to do this. Now, it could just say... Um, just rename it, turn off, uh, put forward slashes in front of the buy or sell side. So you can just say buy. It's You only will buy. You don't have to worry about the expert settings. Just make it so it only buys. So, and you have a sell bot. But the name's the same, so it's a mirror image of it. Just to keep everything, you know, so we know what the baseline is. And this is going to be hard stop, hard take profit. And the expiration, so in your mind's eye, I should be able to tell what that's going to do. And calling out the um, above or below numbers here. If you can replicate some of the script, the, the highlights of the script, so that you can see what it means inside. So the name of this one is the canvas with the engulf. It was the first one I started to dial in. It seemed like I was making money. I could definitely see it on the chart after I saw it made money. Then I looked at what it was doing in the chart, and it's a pretty accurate um, display. I've run these in real time before, and I can tell what it's doing as far as the um, the strategy. Is That's why I'm in the strategy tester. Don't you know? So here's number two in golf. Let's just double check. I need to come up with a little bit better naming system, but that that's all what it is about, is just writing a bunch of songs and then get a hit song. But really what I want to do is layer the short-term bots on the long-term bots so I can always regulate how much exposure. It's about, this is about timed exposure at fixed prices. And so the other question was about um, having your stops in this robot, you can make your stops hard like this. Hard stop, hard exit. Whereas the ones that you hand drop that the guy in Britain wrote, where it's like you're buying 4K in a 10 pip window, and you you drop those with your hand, you drag and drop, you can't, you can't have anything but the same stop for every ticket. So... The robot, in a sense, outperforms that because when you're dropping the even, well, it depends how much work you want to do, right? You could drop singles, which are predefined exact. This is a 13-pip stop. This is a 28-pip stop. And you know you're going to drop 10 of these in every 20-pip window you see. Now, in that, in that instance, you kind of have an advantage because if you always risk a certain dollar amount per trade, Instead of trying to find a, um, a script that has a broad range, covers a wide range, we talk about the, the wide range, that you're going to have to grab something that's, that's particularly, we can double up at that level. I also have a double-click script that just drops a 1. So when you hit the double-click, it's a predefined 30 pips deep with a particular stop. It could be a cluster of buys there with a feathered-out stop and a feathered, you know, a... a, a a really greedy take profit that's scaled out or just a hard it's a it's a bottomless pit i'm sure you can see i mean think about it how many fucking times can you pull the trigger every what every minute this is dropping yes with this stop on that day that was a fucking the mo most amazing trade but what are you what are you typically trying to do uh, risk uh, 40 pips to make 90 pips and that kind of thing i'm just trying here to automate what i would it particularly um, my style, which would be if it's tanking, I want to buy it. If it's going through the ceiling, I want to sell it. And I want to just lay out tickets. It's like the words, you know, if something's exploding, I'm trying to start on the on the fringe and ab absorb all the the uh, spikes. And then when it calms down, I could get out 
or it's going to drift to the other side. It's going to engulf it because now it's just going to have a um, severe imbalance, typically an order imbalance. All the pressure's built up. People see the abyss. We start to go there. It's very fast. It's very hard. It's very dirty. It's deep. And the recovery out, I mean, think about, look at the crude oil chart at so-called zero not too long ago, right? Um, the recovery. All the way to fucking, like, oh, the world's coming in, and it's like $90 a barrel, right? So now you're in the you're in the doldrums now. The people that made money during some some of those phases, they happen to be in just the right size. They happen to have an account. They probably made a bunch of money. I talked to a guy that made a bunch of money in Bitcoin when it was way up, and then, you know, I think took a ride at this fifteen thousand. I don't know if he held through the whole thing, but if he did, and then as soon as the as soon as the uh, government authorized these goobers to open up, uh, you know, well we're gonna we take over derivatives. Yeah, geez, wow, that. that down seven grand because the, the, the street goobers gave him a license to sell derivatives, you know. Just dilute the market. Oh, geez. Well, look at that. It's safer now, right? Sideways. Now it's just another instrument of um, standard of value. So if gold, if gold goes sideways, it's better. I mean, it's less frightening for people. If it went to if it went to three thousand, a lot of people would be shitting their pants. You know, um, I, I could see people killing themselves because they missed the move. I should have bought more gold. Goodbye, cruel world. Here's my last will and testament. I give all my bad trades to everybody that ever tell me I didn't know what I was doing. Yes, it's my reverse um, will. It kills some people too. I mean, it's I got it. You know, I got had done in a foreign country, and since we've imported everybody, yeah, I just brought my constitution with me. I'll be using that one too. In fact, I'm set up my own country in your country, yeah, in Texas. We're just gonna like set out little nodes. Yeah, well, it was just fucking, it's called the uh, country within the country. Uh, you know, you used to think those Chinese dolls, there's fucking 48 of them. No, there's uh, 55 of them. It's a Fibonacci uh, Chinese dolls. How come it's not, what happened to my thing? I blew it up already? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no, I haven't run it. Um, So, uh, the real market, let's see here. Did I run this robot? Okay. I stopped it. That's right. <laughs> I want to double check. All right, so we're just going to let go. Um, now this is this is the, <laughs> this is the template that MetaTrader has for you. I can't take it. So it blow your brains out. So this is going to do that trade, and it's going to make it. Um, oh, so I did it again. Wait, please hold. It's going to make this. Um, I've written a few different versions of this today where it's not. So this is hard stop, hard take profit. I just want to get the number. So this actually is not true. So this one I'm going to tell you, I wrote one that's, uh, so you want to double check that. But you really want to double check anything. That's why I'm not selling any of this stuff because these titles are not necessarily correct. In this case, I've turned off the first three tickets on here and dedicated, I got 8K, selling and um 8k buying i've told the um expert advisor settings to go into a buy only stage here and if i do sell only stage it actually makes money too but it doesn't when we run buy and sell at the same time the problem is that you're not dumping out the profits properly and it's making it even more difficult to estimate how much this robot costs to run. Also, in this instance, it's lasting for a whole day. Whole day. Not not what it says here. See, the expiration of this is not going to be one hour dropping every hour. It is dropping every hour, though. That is the only thing that's really happening here that we, that we know for certain is it is dropping every, every uh, half hour. I'm going to scroll up and look at the top of this code. So here is the um, master settings for this robot. This is a very uh, simple bot. Every 60 minutes it's dropping. The, 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 all this is bullshit, except for the uh, maybe the ID. But honestly, this is complete. This 
for some reason these aren't <laughs> have no effect and I don't know about this shit here but uh, I don't think this has anything to do with anything in my estimation the only thing that's tr running this bot that actually is functioning is every 60 minutes it's dropping all these fucking tickets and it, they expire in a day so it's very aggressive this is going to be a very aggressive bot and um, on this one we've got We'll start selling at 40 pips above current price every hour. So we're stacking up 24 of these. This is going to be an envelope that rides along with the market and stacks in every day. Every day we're looking to buy all the way to uh, 120, 125 pips, 110 pips. 95 pips above us, 80 pips above, 70. So uh, we're kind of linear here, and then we have this big higher, and this is a hard stop at 140 pips. And we're going to scalp off the ceiling this 45 uh, pips because we sold at uh, 100, 125 above current price when this robot dropped every hour and cashing out on that target 800 pips above current price difference between those two numbers is your profit and this is your stop risking about um looks like 15 pips here so this has the worst ratio but the small the smallest position this is just a, a complete um increase linear increase in price i suppose the martingale is some insane uh True Martingale, or there's different styles of that. That this is like 24k by here, or something, or 100k, crazy. I don't, I don't think that would work. And in fact, you could probably even uh, make these in pairs, so you could, like, like I said, it's it's infinite. You could say, well, I'm just going to do 1k's and then do 2k's and then do 3k's and then do 4k's, and we max out at 4k's, right? Now, if you've only got, um, you know, a thousand dollars in the account. Yeah, maybe you want to turn this robot down or this scheme. This is just this is just nothing but static selling and static buying. This is just literally laying a net out on either side. I would pick a side. Pick a side, son. It would blow your head off. No, I, I think like if you gonna if it's going up, you know, like said <laughs> my personality I built into the robot so that I can watch my insane idea from a distance some it's outside myself and go wow dude you are fucking nuts but at least i'm at least i'm clean i mean i'm i'm very consistently nuts see and on the on the output we're going to scale out and this is going to be a soft exit completely um 10 pips apart on the way out now this is going to be the greediest uh, trade but the smallest size as the market sweeps back off the ceiling and it's going to actually come, I'm going to make a whole, this is actually not a bad trade here, right? I'm going to make myself 60 pips because I'm going to get out 20 pips under current price of where I'm at right now. I mean, it's going to be in a gulf of the of the middle of this thing where it's 700 pips north here. We got this 4K rolling. And um, the top tick, Tommy, is coming in, hopefully dead nuts on there, but I'm, these could be layers of bots. So there's going to be 25 of these fucking things floating out there because we're dropping every 60 minutes. We're dropping it, and they last for a day. When If this blows up the account, you have to back off the exposure by making them so they don't last as long. So they're constantly maybe every 12 hours, right? And then I tune it down. So what I've been doing this whole time for, I guess, five years at least, since I uh, had somebody write, write this much code for me, I don't know who did it, I can't remember, but uh, they sent me this thing, here, try this, oh, that worked, but it's like I could never get the uh, right pip range here, it's supposed to be triggered, now once I get the pip range to work, or what I really want to do is have it so, um, there's a pip range bot, and then there's a closing bot, so ATR and close is different than ATR. ATR and close is not really even true range, it's just um, closing closing um, <laughs> market change I don't know rate of change it's rate of change of one 
So um, that's a different number because that is important too, right? A robot that responds to that is a closing bot. So all the, all the closing prices are based on the market closes here and the market bots are going to come in on that and so are the limit bots because they're going to say, oh, you just closed down there and, and then it's going to trigger a group of bots because they're going to feast upon the fact that it's down 150 pips. And, and, and robots that probably don't get pulled out so this is a game of like football game but you're allowed to put like thousand guys on the field the other guy's got um you know five people because the guy that's the guy that can't trade in these nets sounds like net trading i don't know what you call this i call it uh uh you know retracement or unfair value entry you're basically going to get in on the spike, ride it back, dump it out, rinse and repeat. The, the rinse and repeat is constant here because even after, if I let, let the robot keep going, he's going to be trailing underneath in an envelope on either side of the market. So that is the, um, and I, don't, I haven't done the math on this. I mean, knock yourself out, but that's why I say it's kind of hard to sell it if you can't tell somebody well, this robot costs this much to run, and he'll, the risk of ruin is X. But if you want to handle that, that, like I said, feel free to take this thing and just, you know, have a uh, field day. And it's just really the the robot thing. At first, when I saw it, expert advisor, I said, "Well, oh, please come on, expert advisor, right?" But I guess I'm building the expert here. You build the expert. We blow up the account. Thank you. Thank you for trading with us. But superwidespreads.com. Thank you. Come to come to uh, low leverage super wide spreads. The guy was talking about the uh, yeah the exchanges. No, I do think that the whole thing with the Dodd Frank Frank Dodd. These guys are banging each other. I think the whole thing there was they the they, they lobbyists. Um, now that I think about the deep state there, the lobbyists were saying, okay, we're gonna fucking not let this happen, you know, because we're gonna make sure the outlaw while while you're while you're tearing down everything else. By the way, stop that because we can't sell a seat on the exchange for uh, half a million dollars anymore. I mean, th the idea that you own a seat on the exchange and never have to trade there, it's a piece of real estate, wait for it to go up in price and sell it. What the fucking kind of uh, country club fucking shit is that? So now that you have decentralized trading, uh, you know these guys are all pissed off. So they've been, they, 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 but some people that, you know, it's just the thing, you know. I mean, the, the people are afraid of the digital. They're afraid of the AI. You know, they're, they're under a fucking blanket now. The sky is falling. I got it. You know, look, we, all, we all hope we just die in, while having an orgasm. I think that's really what everybody's uh, wished, how, how to go out. But we're all going out of here, you know. Forget about it. Now, the PIP range, I want to make this uh, maybe... It's closed below the last low. How far did it close? And maybe a range of clothing, closing it. So if it closed between 20 pips to 40 pips down. So this is actually, uh, if it's less than, but more than, that's another part of the robot that's a little more, I guess, harder to define. I guess you want to have this. It's higher than this, but not, not lower than that. And so I need that number two to be written into the code. And uh, this is the this is the video I'll be posting, I suppose. One of them, if somebody has any needs any more explanation. But this is as far as I got on this system. And um, so, if you want to write the I went out the up uh, the uptown thing there, the um, Upwork thing, Uptown Girl, and uh, was she wasn't in there. <laughs> I did have Billy Joel next to me to go. Hey man, like uh, I know this chick. Uh, she's crazy. <laughs> He's a little bit. Uh, does every chick have to spin out? What the fuck happened, man? I mean, every chick, like this guy um, that uh, Johnny Depp was chilling with, you know, he ends up with a coffee cup wedged into the screen of his LCD TV. Wow, that's, that's, a, that's a, but that's anger management. I've punched a wall before, but I hadn't thought about the coffee cup and the computer screen or the or the display yet. That's the way to go, man. That's that's something you would take a picture of that. Make one of the those, uh, what are, the, are they still selling those, um, Artwork, Bitcoin artwork thing. What do they call it? I don't know what they call it anymore. No, who keeps track of this shit? Who keeps track? But you can this. I have the worst color uh, selection here, but I only did it because I want to see the playback of the robot, 
and the fucking I don't have a choice on the colors that MT4 ch- uh, chooses. Also, I want to keep it secret. If you don't have the secret decoder ring or the 3D glasses, you can't fucking see the font on this thing. So uh, that's why I'm not charging. I say, uh, this, all the reason if you complain ever, it's it's because it's free. <laughs> These people are like selling the. I'm selling a course on how to. How to I should would to do it the right way. How to blow up your account. And somebody else wrote this code here. I had a guy add this on. So that if you want to have a sound go off when this robot's going, you'll know it's robots shooing away at your money. And this could go on forever. This could be like a 40-minute rant. You could have this pl- connected to, we don't know what it turned on right now, but it's just go out looking for the uh, the name of this file in the wave. And the best thing about MetaTrader is running wave files. So high res, you know, high res fucking rants associated with this robot every time it drops a script. At least you know it's dropping. I would have the I would have the robot say uh, sixty minutes um, by bot <laughs> designed by you, you fucking idiot. <laughs> yes, uh, prepare to buy into. Yeah, this probably fills some time in the morning. <laughs> But uh, actually, you could have it so that um, maybe you have multiple files here. That'd be very complicated because each robot would have its own thing. You can have, like, uh, the time zone. And I don't have a time zone filter, so this just keeps dropping. It it, it drops here regardless, and it really um, is relentless. So let's see what it looks like. And the daily version, I want to tune it back. I got multiple versions I can run quickly and examine the uh, st- stats and what it's trying to do in the market or what it's doing. It's not trying to do it. Hell, this shit don't try. This shit just gets it done. We know some fucking uh, wimpy ass shit going here. This is full fledged raw dog standing in front of the market. Uh, take, on, take on the insanity of uh, price action single handedly. Yes, you too can take on the uh, the big boys. All right, let's start it again here. Um, sorry for the interruption, but you know, like I said it's not a it's free. It's free shot. Free shot. It's free. So it's buying here a little bit. Let's see what the stats are coming in. So it's buying into this plunge here, regardless, right? See how my stack and um, here 125 pips deep. I think uh, I don't even remember what I just talked about there, but. But it is going to actually make the greedy targets are above. So see all the um, targets above us. It got filled here. These are looking to cash out. Let's maybe zoom in. It runs faster when you zoom in. How do I see it filling anything? Oh, so it went long here. And it's going to get to an 8K at the bottom of the rack there. Way out. It has to be 100, 125 pips deep. But it's got all these all stacking up. This is quite a, this is quite a, a lot of exposure here. It's kind of brutal, actually, how much this, how much punishment uh, it takes here. You'd have to delete the objects to clean it up here. This would be dropping every hour. This is pretty much what this robot does. I've run this thing um, when the market's open, and it religiously drops. It does do that perfectly every 60 minutes without question, irregardless. So it's a very objective approach to trading because it's just, it's just I mean, it just sounds so stupid, but it just keeps buying. All the way down here, hard stop, 140 pips stop there. I'm willing to accept this whole plunge. Man, it seems slower uh, than it ran before. But I think it is going to speed up. I don't know why. <laughs> There's something about the amount of data on the screen. I haven't seen anything cash out yet. All right, so we're about to get filled on a plunge here. We're going off a cliff into the abyss. July of 2019 near the end of the month we're melting down and this is really looking for that big plunge out of nowhere 
Not to say we couldn't be running um, a hedge bot on top of this. Uh, we are short maybe on top of this um, because, yes, if you're going to build the trend bot, which I don't think it'd be that hard to do, you could just use the one that comes with MT4 and just go with that moving average crossover. There's already a robot there. I think it even runs a trailing stop. I think it might have money management built in. That's the other thing I don't have on this robot. This is just raw dog targets. If we don't hit those targets, this thing just keeps religiously buying. It's a very religious robot, actually. It's tested by monks. Yeah, we gave it to him on, la on laptops in the monastery. So let that fucker run. Get Windows tablets. They weren't happy about the Windows tablets because they thought Bill Gates was going to monitor them. See what they're thinking. Trying to tax them on their thoughts because they think they're going to be profitable down the road. And once the AI gets inside your head, you're fucked. Damn it, I'm just going to fast forward. This is really getting on it. This was a lot faster before. Maybe I have to delete my history. But we are under, we are, uh, these are all the ones. We might have got stopped out of these. I'm not sure if these are what's going on here with this streaming across. But these are original holds we got into. The very first plunge, because I put a big stop on that. 140 pip stop. We haven't hit my stop yet. So we're still holding these. They're drawdown, Phil, but it's not showing up on the stats below yet on the graph. I'm sure it's going to come into play here. So we're this far through the playback. You know why? Because I'm doing every tick. Um, so sorry about that. I can't handle every fucking tick. Sorry, guys. I mean, well, every tick or is it? No, fuck. Dude, stop. When you see this robot run. You'd be like, oh, I get it. Yeah. So uh, let me slow it down because it's going to blister through the beginning. <laughs> every tick, people. Stop with every tick. I'm going to get a tick if you stop well, you keep with every tick. All right, that's why I, I'm like, why is this thing so slow? Yeah, because you changed your fucking whole scheme here. So like, here's the basket of fucking <laughs> deplorables down here. Hard stop, right? Hard stop, 20, 15 pips on that last ticket. I'm just going to go to the um, candle so I can arrows. That gives me the clean arrows. And it's it, now this is stacking up all day long. Now let's speed it up. This way we can see a nice. I'm at 31, just one notch under the fastest speed now. It's going to do the same trade it did before. It's going to go long here on some kind of plunge out of nowhere. I wish I could stretch it out a little bit towards the top. I didn't fix the scale on this, so. Now, the sell bot, if I'm perceiving a possible rally there, the sell bot just made some money there. See how we rip back? <sighs> okay, it's going to be um, a while here. Be still, I can speed it up a little bit. I do have one more notch left on my uh, speed dial. This will be blistering fast now. If you can watch this thing uh, go to town here at 32. Look at the graphics can't keep up. Oh, well, so much for, uh, you know, i7s running. Uh, all right. Now it's getting filled. The, these lasted, there's 24 racks of that stuff with 140 pip stop on that. Still waiting for a nice sell-off. Haven't gotten it. We're just barely eating the fringe of that. That's why I would want a shallow bot to take something off the table on the long side and the short side there. Now, the long bot just made money. Now, that was that um, crazy event. I'm surprised we're not seeing the profits show up on the graph yet. But Okay, another day, another dollar. Now, a possible plunge here coming. Always, This thing's always going to bank if it plunges. 140 pips stop. So it's like an envelope of buys running beneath after the, after every hour. Now, if you start this thing, if you open your platform, all robots will start running if that's the profile you have. So you have to open your platform. It's supposed to be religious. you got to open it up at the top of the hour. All the robots come online at that moment. But it really doesn't matter. It's about... Um, that they expire in an hour, not that it's keyed up to the hour chart. 
every time you restart the platform, it is going to restart the robots in the, in this system the way this is, which is fine with me. But we're but buying um, pretty deep. We start buying pretty deep. We don't come, we don't come in until what is it? Uh, yeah, our first buy is twenty pips deep. So we're twenty to ninety. Twenty to ninety. That's no. That's not this one robot. We're running this one. So we're pretty deep on this. That's a different. That's a different bot. So this is coming in. Uh, Four hundred. I'm sorry. Forty pips. Forty pips to. Uh, uh, this is pretty deep way. So forty pips to. Uh, Hundred twenty five pips. But I spread them out at the bottom here because these tickets start getting pretty big. I put a tail on it so it's not completely linear entry as far as that goes. But you know the thing. Now, this is the fill, the big fill. This is where um, this guy was talking about, you know, going against the wind. This is the Bob Seeger trading style. Here we're about to get filled on this massive collapse. It's going to take out this... Um, floor here. We're going to get stopped out of some stuff. Our balance is down. We started with 10 grand. We're down like 500 bucks here, 700 bucks. So there goes your count. Sorry about that. Now we hold on for the retracement here. We have the cash out. Possibly cash out stuff. This is all without money management. and Really, it's just one bot. Doing one task, very heavy uh, risk bot because it's doing um, a lot of a lot of tickets there. I don't even know what this is. Probably risking uh, at least two grand if all those tickets filled and it blew out one of these racks. So look at this thing on the. If you zoom in, it really runs fast. Okay, so it's back above. Now here's our here. See the see the drawdown here. You see this equity was down to. Oh, you're down about five grand here. So, look how much we're making money, but we had to uh, take that drawdown. But you you would have figured that, right? I can't zoom out now. Kind of crash the thing. Oh, that didn't quite, that, that didn't work. I, I can't um, zoom out now. Oh, here we go. See what it's doing? It just keeps dropping relentlessly. Now it's cashed out in this whole um, retracement. Came flying all the way down here, and this bottom became a top. I would have cashed out. I don't think it took everything off the table there. I would have gone flat and then redone it. But look at this drawdown. I don't think people can handle that shit. It's because it has a 140 pip stop on it. But that's how a swing trader has to be up for the uh, drawdown. So you'd have to, if you had a thousand dollars in your account, you might be all the way down to 500. And if you go with the cut your losses short thing, you'd have to un you'd have to let go of this whole um, position you built. See the tickets are coming in big, which means at this point you're cashing out of these big ass tickets that you bought. That's the volume, which means you filled the eight Ks on the collapse back here. Or maybe that's stacked up. They're doubled up because look at this. It's this getting out like a mega size. And now it's coming back in. I'm just going to fast forward. So we just look at the analytics now. We're not going to look at the uh, charts anymore. You see what the strategy is from the buy side. Oh, let me run the short side just to be fair because I'm so fair. I'm going to fast forward and, and take us past the visual. And go to skip to end. Clean this up a little bit. 
turn this to skip to the end of the story. Show us that we make any money in the end. Now, as I recall, most of these robots can make quite a bit, but it blow up by the end, right? Now, no money management on this bot. Look at the fills on some of this. It's pretty heavy. So there's no trailing stop. It's just a raw bot. Every day, you know, uh, it's quite the exposure. It, it just never stopped running here. Now, it does, this ends like um, you're not up as, I don't think it ever takes out 24,000. These, these are 8Ks here, a big 8K fill. Now, if this doesn't retrace, I think this ends up like 15,000. So we're not going to. This is the holy grail where it just keeps going. But you can see how the runs here and what's causing the um the, the blue line is the balance. The red line is your equity. So the drawdown, you would see, oh, my equity's way down, and now you have to wait for the retracement. Certainly, if you open the account right in here, it would be the most ideal situation. But if I could put a filter of time on top, then I'm going to have a little bit more uh, control over, the, over it because I can start buying in this zone, start buying buying here because as soon as the market starts to plunge instead of getting stopped out let's turn it on here we can ride that part of it and the sell bot you know it's building a sell position cash out now i'm going to go to the 12 hour bot so what i did was immediately say oh we're out there too long too much exposure let's go and make this a short-term bot I try to rename the, so when I'm done with some bot that I like, I'll, I'll, I create a formal name for it. I try to get the, uh, the most critical thing is how long do the tickets last. It's just as critical as how, many, how often they drop. But I don't usually make a mistake on naming them with that. So if it does say H4, it should be H4. That's the easiest thing to check. Uh, the robots that seem to fail are the ones that are getting in too close to the market too often for a small profit. So it's hard to, it's easier to make 100 pips with a 50 pip stop because you give the market quite a bit of room. And you're giving it quite a bit of time, I suppose, at least 12 hours or 4 hours to retrace. If I grab the robot that's going to do like here's a short term every hour I think it's dropping for an hour and this is the same template of getting in to an 8k eventually so we don't have to it's more realistic because if it's going to be I don't know how many tickets it adds up to if you want let, let them stack up all day long now this one is set to an hour expiration drops every hour it only it only buys a linear rack uh, down f so from 200 pips above to 90 pips above with a hard stop at 110 pips with a soft take profit and pretty greedy you know it's gonna it's gonna make 20 pips on this uh last ticket and it's gonna make um 50 on this big ticket so it's a real kind of greedy bot Greedy bots uh, are bots too, you know. And it's going to drop every 60 seconds, which is uh, almost a minute. I mean, almost a, every 60 minutes is almost an hour. Depend, I don't, they change that now. Boys can be girls, and 60 minutes is around an hour. Like I said, I wish I could get this stuff to run, but that's okay. I have actually like this better because this is raw, blind, Order placement. The only thing that, the only criteria here is how far away from current price are we and how long do the tickets last, which is great because we're bracketing, we're, we're envelope trading it from the outside of and expecting standard deviation to bring us back to the mean, the mean center at some point. And it's just trading extreme edge price. So you can see what this code's going to do here. 
and we can see the chart. We'll run the we'll run the visuals on this one. This is going to be half hour on the buy side only right for right now. Just to look at the just look at the stats and watch it behave. I'll behave. All right, so this is going to be an adventure. Start that. Hurry up! Got to throw the template in. Well, maybe not. I guess you can handle this if I zoom out. But you know what it's doing. Bye, 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 bye. I think when I want to see this on the template, because I'm wondering if if I could trade this, let this trade for me. If I had my finger on the take profits button more more frequently, because you would need that. Well, it really chews this thing up, doesn't it? Um, a little too fast, maybe here. Go to the graph. So here it's kind of losing money, not that bad, not that big. And it's not making money that bad, that big. So this doesn't do as well. If I skip to the end, you'll see it doesn't really, kind of just slowly bleeds the account, typically, right? Because it can't handle, and it's got a decent stop here. And the, and the tickets only last an hour, don't forget. So it has to have, here's the time it makes money, right? This must have been one day during the news. See, it loaded the wagon. It plunged into, and that was the retrace. It can't compare to a swing bot that can endure, you know, three weeks of holding a position till it finally cashes out. And this is without money management. So maybe this could be improved with a, with a trailing stop. There's another, like, uh, insane plunge, which means... That only happened in like every hour this thing's throwing tickets in front. There's a nice recovery. You could open your account here. It's amazing it takes this long with this fucking ass i7, i9 computer. It can't, can't, it, you just really can't get through this data? Shit. Oh, my God. I can't take it. Let me sell only then. So to get, before I just, you know, before I waste my time turning the switches on and off, those robots, I'm just going to say short only. I don't know what this shit is. It's always checked, the goddamn generic algorithm. Fuck that shit. I don't even know what that is. I don't have any uh, trailing stops on this. Let's just skip to the end, see what I can do. Short side only now. Short side only on the one-hour bot. It gets a nice little run there, but looks like it's going to get hammered now. It's probably just too too um, close to the market or something. I don't know. Certainly the big outlanders. I got one here that's just uh, a monster. It puts 24K on each side. So that's pretty serious. It should be in here. Here's, here's a, here's a, a six-hour bot. Let's just give this thing a, a, a run. On the short side. But I sure wish that was, and this is in crude mode. All right, this is in crude mode. This is the fastest, supposedly, open prices method. Let's see how fast we can test that. Open's fine with me. That's really not much faster. I just wanted to blister through it. Like, bring me the fucking uh, 40 core computer, please. Well, that's the government's got one of those. That's one they monitor you with. They keep track of everybody. Nobody gets around here without no. It's a new digital score. We give you a 5.89. On what scale? I can't tell you that. Nope, can't tell you scale. <laughs> Sorry. I like that credit score thing. What's your score? 700. Now, in any other game, 700. Like, what's your score on the. How many points in football? 700. You're doing good. Your credit score, no, 700, not, not good. They got to be like a zillion. I can't watch this thing trade. I, I'm going to switch to the crude control here. And very crude method. Very crude. I like when they say very crude. Everything I tested on crude oil works on here, too. I don't know why. Let's put this... Uh, psychotic uh, 24k in here see what we get i started to write these with the time is the most important thing in the beginning 
And then I started to say, well, why write another bot when well, you could just put 24K on one bot? <laughs> Duh. So I did. I used a two-hour, a 12-hour 24K bot, and the tickets last. I think they're dropping every. Um, they're dropping every maybe two hours. You better double-check that, too. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be. You get that wrong, it's going to hurt. Always check your, uh, it's like when you get in the car. Make sure there's enough gas in the car. H12. Okay, H12. 24K, two hour. That refers to, we're dropping them every two hours, and um, they expire in six hours. I really should make that, um, instead of H2, it really should say 120 minutes because that's what the code says, so that's kind of fucked up there. It's in a hurry, you know? So th this uh, this should really say, this spot right here should say, this is H2, 120. I'll know that seconds. And then it's 24K. And on that one, it's like crazy town. I think that's set for buy only here, so I'll have to turn on the buy onlys. This one, I, it is a buy only bot. If I don't do that, the expert advisor is not going to take any trades, so I have to hurry up and switch that back. Let's get back to the expert advisor settings, properties, sorry. Because it won't even it won't even take a trade. It doesn't matter whether I trust buy only or sell only. When I'm doing the uh, to see how much money it's going to make. All things considered, I'm not sure how deep that's buying. See, that's not described. I have to look at the code for that. Now this one, since it's buying so heavy, and these are all one cases, completely different approach here. This is 24K spread out in one case, pretty elaborate. As deep as 75, starting at 200 pips, but these are baskets and these are all odd numbers. These are all just trying to, I try to make these all different. This is like all different numbers. Like, I can't even know what to say about this. So I just called it the um, swing bot. Same as the canvas thing in a way, but. Is there any greed on the exit? Not really. Kind of just takes advantage of the chop in the end. The comments are totally uh, inappropriate. Those aren't the right. If you wanted to make a book, you would have to say, well, this is going to be, the comments are going to be a summarization of this. You know, which robots are running. You can look at your comment window if you're that kind of person. If you're in the comments, you can spell these out in a spreadsheet and have some robot keeping track of your metrics as everything's unfolding. You know, it's, it's no end to it, right? Have a robot that's checking the robot. Yes, yeah, that's the new world. That's what the kids say. It's all good. Let me skip to the end of the story. Or should I do my template first? Throw my template, see um, what it looks like, what this robot's up to. I'm at 31 speed. Wait for a plunge. A plunge into my rack. We already know the story, right? We already we've this is the same starting point. Let's see how this one performs. It's a very aggressive bot. But see the soft stop on that? That's a different style of bot. And this is twenty four K. So we're taking a hit. We're taking a hit here, people. No, it just goes on forever, but I think this is the answer for me, like, uh, because I don't want to sit here and keep trying. I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep throwing buys in front. So I I found somebody to trade as bad as me. I think this robot's doing a good job. It's picking the right bot for the right situation. Certainly putting this bot in here 
is exactly the perfect time to start buying. As soon as it took out that floor back there and we went into Insaneville, I kind of would just turn on every buy bot I own. As soon as we took out this 100-pip floor in these few days here, that's that was it for me. I was like, woof. Buy a signal. Is it going down? Another buy signal. I can check this performance against the other one that was buying uh, 8Ks at the last ticket. And I think that probably was easily 24K in the end. Uh-oh, hyperdrama. It must be the news came out. So it just cashed out these tickets it's been holding. But these are disappearing faster. The expiration here is 12 hours, but they're dropping every two hours. So it's stacking up quite a bit there. It's not going to get involved in some of that drama because it's just not lasting long enough for that. I'm going to go to max speed. Go to the graph. Sit back. Sit back, fill my arm, just watch the money come. Watch the pips roll in. Sit in the dock of the bay watching the pips roll in. Watch them go out again. Watch the account drop. Watch the... Uh, margin go down to get the drawdown but the drawdowns are less here see because we got one ticket on each on each guy just an army of, of buy limits down there that's that's right and now we dropped about uh, two days here we came out of the floor now cashing out i hope Putting limits in again, I'll, I'll rinse and repeating for me. I don't know if we made money on that, but that's why if I had the other bot layer on top of this short-term bot, and enough of these, uh, the whole thing is, is yes, yeah, so we're going against the wind. Damn, I'm just going to have to fast forward through the whole day to skip to the end. Still hanging up my uh, mouse there. Huh? The, probably not going to do too well here. All right, see, too close to the market, too many tickets. So this robot is over trading a little bit. Look at that, 6,000 fucking trades. Tickets are too close together. So you have to spread that wider. So you might as well just put in, because the other, this is a narrower range than the other bot that can trade super deep. Of course, if you opened your account here, you'd say different, wouldn't you? Oh, look at this beautiful accumulation where I'm dumping. It's not blowing up, but it's not making a bunch of money either. Just a lot of fucking trading. So the other one is, um, I've got a robot that's, you can kind of see what they're going to do. Hopefully you can guess what they're going to do before they do it based on how many tickets are coming in here. Like this is a complete, this is just going to blow the account up. This is buying 5 pips to 20 pips deep with a 25 pip stop. It's just going to get his ass kicked. It's going to get annihilated. So would a breakout bot at this close to the market. Watch. <laughs> Read it and weep. Okay, so it's just getting us too close. Look at this thing. Look how many trades it did, though. Holy shit. So rarely does it get a winning streak. It's in a buy-only mode right now. Now, buy-sell would, would save this robot because it's going to build a hedge very close to the market. That's why there's not a lot of good trades out there because the market has to go ballistic for a swing trader to make money in either direction. It just has to go fucking nuts. And this is just chop. You're getting in five. I think there's two sides of this. That's no, a buy only bot. <sighs> it wasn't worth making a sell side for that. So they're really deep ones. So I did write some crazy stuff here. I don't even know how many K are in some of these. But just throw, let's throw some out here just for fun. Here's a strict. Um, you're dropping these every 60 seconds, and they last for a day. 50 to 100 pips deep, and Martingale means I'm just going to get in every um, 
I think these are, it's not going to build the position bigger, but we'll see. No, it is going to be bigger, but just usually by one increment. I'm not, I never do anything like two, four, six, eight. We appreciate. I never do that. It's always going to be, this is Martin Gale or um, Mar for Martin Gale. It's always going to be one. I don't know how many tickets are on here. Usually about 10. 10 tickets harmonic, skelp bot. I wish I could edit from the drop window. This is daily. High frequency drop of 60. Expert is uh, 155th master stop. So we really are dropping every every uh, 240 minutes there. So that's really not quite accurate, is it? 240 minutes. Uh, they last for a day. So every two hours. I think the name of that script might be off. It says 60. That's not right. It's 240. Thank God. So I think I blew up the account with that. So I did make it, but I didn't rename it. See, this this why it's just such a fucking mess. I couldn't have, always use it in one hour time frame because these typically are dropping based on the hourly charts. And just to verify, I can see them dropping. So I trust trust and believe. And that is coming to come in at. Um, it looks like we've got at least um, 8K. Once again, starting at 1K, going to 8K with a soft stop, soft take profit. Getting it pretty close together down here. Pretty, pretty uh, aggressive. 20 pips stop. And this is ridiculous. I don't think a rat will let this again, and I'll show you why in a minute. <laughs> I think you see that's a danger. They're just getting blown out of the whole rack there. Not not at taking advantage of uh, a wider area. It's very focused. I think you'd have to hand place that in what you perceive. So the robot's doing these giant canvases, but it doesn't mean you can't take and hand drop. I don't think there's any, like, it has to be all this way or that way. If these robots are running in the background for me and I see, you know what, this is not, no, I'm going to have to, if I buy at the market and I know underneath me, if I put a 100-pip stop and buy at the market, that I'll probably get picked up because I can see my half-hour bot is dropping some something. And I will have that, but I'll have to take that off the table when it fills. So I already know that I'll have to babysit these trades that are close to the market. But when the market goes really nuts, the people that don't want to look at charts, so um, <laughs> I suppose there's somebody out there that's never traded the Forex that um, has made it this far, they're inside the platform, and they haven't seen a tick chart. But if there's tick charts that exist, and nobody could see anything smaller time frame than a daily chart, it's probably easy to show somebody how to trade. Here, you play these tickets, and say, well, I didn't have any trades this week. Well, there you go. But when they did get filled, right, it would be an extreme 300 pip move with 100. You're risking, you saved up your money, this one trade, this one day, the news comes out, giant fucking wins. But then, of course, the next signal is another 20 days away, right? Because it's ICT, only 20 days of pull trigger. But is that going to be how you want to see trading? Or are you going to say, well, fuck, can I, can I trade that on the five-minute chart, that setup that you just did on the monthly chart? Yeah, I suppose, but the spread's going to kick your ass and all the noise. And now you got to trade really big, now you're going to get kicked out because your stops are too tight. And But I can't put in wide stops because I'm in really big. and So, right? what's okay as far as your rate of making money and how many times that pattern come up but the robot is the answer for if you believe this uh, scheme right works then you should have a crude version of it the robot should be able to do your trade if it's nothing more than moving average crossed over it sees a hammer i'm sure you could write that robot you're an uptrend by every hammer after completion right but then you'd have to put some kind of criteria, like I only trade 30 pip hammers with a 10 pip body. I wouldn't be that exact to give it a little range. Eight to four, eight to 15 pip body with, uh, I did a, a video about, um, if you just traded the um, range, so you filter all the data and you just look at the closing prices or the range. And you say, I don't care, buy or sell. Let's put on a hedge right here. We have extreme volatility and then it calms down. When it calms down, you got to get out. When the market goes into doji, the trade's over. 
that trade is over. Now, sure, it can in a golf after the hammer, but the wick, you'd have to wick bot, right? I guess it's called a wick bot, but it depends what time frame. So the wick on the monthly, that's a huge fucking um, swing thing. On the one hour, not so much. Every hour it could be milking, but then the spreads your enemy. And the frequency of trades, the commissions go up because you're... So there are, there's only, yeah, 20% of the time is the t- only time you can make really, really um, big money. And then you'd have to survive some of that big, giant move. 80% of the time the market's churning. And the people that are waiting for the big breakout, trying to trying to pos- hold on to a position before the trend resumes, are in a, maybe a drawdown or slight profit saying, well, the big move's coming. And they have to hold that thing until it really does come and dump the whole thing. because, Or rebuild on the sell side now, if that's what you're doing. But even if you're one position, then you just got to wait it out and think, oh, I'll move my stop and shit. If you do that, you might get stopped out of that one position. So it's like, I guess it's endless. You just have to dive into it on some level. You know, open up a five hundred dollar uh, demo or a thousand dollar demo, and just um, you know, I think it's actually more disciplined to say, today I just want to buy if the market drops fifty pips and um, place your limits out there, walk away for the whole day. You can hand place them. If you turn on the robot, you should know what the robot's doing. That's why I want to see under the hood here. I can see what it's doing. The other thing about this really crude bot is that it don't have this issue about. Oh, well, what was it looking at? Well, it's just doing RSI, MACD. It combines the whole plate with stochastics and it comes up with a meal that it thinks you would like. And it pulls the trigger on half a percent of your account because it's taking into account all these indicators and blah, 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 and spit out the answer is. No, that's not what this is. This is just a, the saying, I will buy, regard, irregardless to any criteria, so it's criteria list bot. And uh, I can see under the hood. So I don't really know what those robots are doing. Well, how did it fucking wait the RSI? Why would it take this fucking trade? The better one is to use the MAC, the one that comes with MetaTrader, which is MACD, or use the um, just good old-fashioned movie average crossover. You know what it's doing. You can fade it. You can invert those numbers. You you know, you could say, well, I'm going to be a, write a contrarian bot. Sure. But you could have that trade on top of this bot. So this bot's taking it, and the other bot's taking maybe a trade. It has a trailing stop. Um, so I don't know if that trailing stop controls all the tickets that are on the platform or just the tickets that was initialized by that robot, so I'm not sure about that. Um, whether the I, magic number is keeping control of just those tickets, I'm not sure about that. So that might be, if you put in maybe that robot, maybe it is taking care of all the tickets on the platform in in conjunction. So maybe I can just run the, let me see. Let me see. I don't know. I, I'm thinking that those tickets are tagged and being moved. I don't know. If anybody knows, please feel free to comment. But that's getting really deep into it, which I never did. I never I never learned how to program uh, MT4, so I had to rely on other people's uh, programming. But you could go this, you can pay some guy 50 bucks an hour, 20 bucks an hour on this Upwork. And he'll uh, supposedly help you out. Uh, so that probably the route, route I end up taking there. Um, but the the dream of one singular robot, I think, is uh, pretty much in, not not possible. Otherwise, some guy would be doing it. And I'm sure he'd sell it. And then people say, well, he wouldn't sell it if you... Yeah, you'd be surprised. I mean, at that point, if I had something to work like that, it'd be like... Um, I don't know if I'd sell it. I think I'd just run it on a PAM account and say, well, just invest in the robot. You know, he's running this account. Do you believe in the robot? Of course, I would I would uh, intervene on top of the robot and the whole account, say, if it looked like uh, they were going to kill somebody, um, somebody high up, you know, or there was going to be a uh, big storm meteors coming at the planet and everybody's kind of like, the markets are getting volatile. Yeah, my robots probably wouldn't even take the trade. In other words, if the robot is set, um, to only accept a 300 pip sell off if it sells off 500 pips if I haven't built a robot for that I'm really not going to get involved in that trade although myself with my finger on the trigger uh, being my own worst enemy thinking oh this should bounce I don't know um, so 
with a 300 pip stop, I'm getting stopped out. I'm at that point. I'm thinking, yeah, maybe this is the end of the world. And of course, you know, we're just going to sit there and get and get clobbered. So I've been through that. I've seen that happen where I'm like, wow, that is like <laughs> that is really moving, isn't it? The yen will do that where you just I don't have a trade for that. Okay, well, or just go uh, go write a script. You know, I think if you slowed yourself down and wrote a script. Uh, maybe better off like once you realize well the market's moving at 200 pips every minute and I just don't have a thousand pips stop I don't think I it, that's if you're just gonna like step in front of it and go well let's just take a chance here and I got 10 grand in the account let me just start selling at the market one case you'd be surprised you'd be down $300 in like uh, I'm only in a 30k you don't need to be in big when the market moves a thousand pips how big do you got to be in there's this is over-the-counter trading Forex doesn't have a limit of of speed or speed over time or pips range over time so yeah it's possible to get just clobber bastard you know and just be well oh, that was that was fun and the uh, quiet asian sessions you know trading that with uh finger on the trigger scalping to make eight pips on a standard lot you know just made 80 bucks you just made 120 bucks you made 400 bucks go back to sleep that's your trading that's your trade you don't trade the news you don't trade the fucking psychosis you don't even trade a you wait till um, the market's open. Uh, try to get in before 7 o'clock when Tokyo opens. Maybe you hold this position until Europe opens. Get the fuck out because when Europe opens, you hand the ball over to the Europeans. They're going to smash it up or smash it down. And that's it, you know. I suppose that's discipline. This robot could be told to, uh, of course, it's not doesn't have that in it code right now, but it could be told to only go into, into uh, monitoring mode in a certain window. So that I know can be done. I've seen robots that do that. So I, the next filters to add here would be, when does it trade? And is it a directional bot, or at least a counter-directional bot? So if the market's down 20 to 30 pips, it starts to run trades like that makes sense for that market. So a lot of these robots wouldn't be triggered by that noise. The market has to go into a real move that is extreme and over a short period of time and then the robots are on it. Or I'm on it. If I see that on the chart, I'm like, whoa, what do you got here? Like, if I see just crazy rally or crazy self, I'm like, what in the flying fuck? Should I get in front of this train? Should I buy in pullbacks? Like, if I see a smash up, I feel like turning on a shallow buy bot and trying to catch any kind of pullback. So I'm going to be more and more um, turning on the robot and just saying, let this robot troll for fish at um, X, right? I'm not going to catch every fish in the pond. People ask, well, how many, what do you think the fill is on that? Well, we're going to find out on some of the back tests when we see a catastrophic meltdown of 200 pips, what to do. Um, what, what what kind of robot would you run? If you if you appear to see the abyss coming, I'm going to go to sleep and I figure this is going to crush down into Europe. If I turn on the right bots, but they turn themselves on if they're trigger if I trigger filter in here. So that's the thing. But I will make a formal video uh, describing the criteria that I'm trying to get programmed in here. Without the without the uh, joking around, just to uh, you know. In case the guy's charging me, you know, you know, I watched your video. It's two hours, so you're already down. Like, I charge 50 bucks an hour. You're down 100 bucks me watching that fucking stupid video you made. So I'll be trying to make a concise uh, presentation. And I've been accused of being too, um, uh, too uh, incoherent. And it's a problem. But I'm working on it. This robot looks like it's going to get in here about 1,000, 100 pips north. This is crazy. The harmonic scalp bot is a real outlandish bot. So at least here we're getting in uh, 50 to 100. Once again, using the compression. Oh, soft stop. And you'll see it on the chart. You can see the hard stops and soft stops when you see it get stopped out. You'll notice that little equity difference.
No, this isn't it, right? We're going to run. That was the last run. So on your mark and set, go. I'm just going to skip to the end of the story. So see how much more money it's making? Because it can, it can endure more deeper. It's 50 to 100 pips deep. It's buy only. It's buy only bot. Harmonic scalp bot. Soft stop, soft take profit. So it doesn't get that harsh, you know, you're out. And it doesn't blow up the account as hard. Definitely a drawdown there. We did have a nice run here in the beginning. But the weakness, or the, 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 the danger here is the exposure is too big. It's dropping every two hours, but it lasts for a day. It is deep, though, 50 to 100 pips, and the stop is, it's kind of the wrong stop looking at it here. That's wrong. This stop should be, the wide stop should be here, but it's tight. So that's fucked. So that needs to be rewritten. Now, I'll just rewrite this one. We're running the buy side only. We just write one of these legs here. Doesn't matter. So I'll double check all this shit before you run it. But let me just do a fast rewrite and give this an outlandish stop. Well, it's supposed to be 150 pips. So that's what's fucked up here. So we have to do a rewrite. Make this proper. So I'll double check this shit. So I'll copy this guy and just keep pasting it. Oh, I fucked that up. Wait, please hold. Okay. So I just made a hard stop on the buy side. Soft exit here. Compile it. Go back to the... We don't have to reload it. It's in there now. Go back to this chart and see we did uh, almost 7,000 trades and we blew up half the account. It's martingaling into this 8K. It's pretty close to the market. And we just made a hard stop. We get a little more room. So let's see if we can make at least closing out to be uh, less trades and a little bit more money at the end. So 7,000. I should write that down. I can't remember shit for 10 seconds here. Slight rewrite, 7,000 trades. We're trying to get under 7,000 trades and end up with a little bit more money than last time because we have such a wide stop, we can endure some of the punishment. No, see, we're blowing it up because it's too, too wide a stop, see? Less trades, too wide of a stop. So you can't just put these, you know, monster. So the only way to survive this is to make this very deep right so the save is to if i put everything really deep it, it's too weighted down there but if i make this 13 so this is a 20 pip stop on here now i'm going to buy 10 pips apart or, or maybe 20 pips apart all the way down that's 20 pips apart this would be um, seven. I guess I'm going to duplicate some of these. So I'm just going to do that. Even though these are duplicate, I'll make this six, I guess, to be fair. We'll stretch it out. So we'll do a six again. But see, I, if I was going to really do this script, I would make two entries the same price, even though they have two different exits at least. But leave it like that. What the fuck? We're going to buy 50. Pretty heavily weighted here at 60 pips down. But the big tickets are get coming in. 20 pips apart. A big stop. I'm going to reduce this to make this a real scalp off the bottom. So maybe get out at 8. This is taking this one off the table. So scalp off the floor. And then make this a 6. That'll be a big pivot price. Make this a, a five. 
and leave these guys where you're only making 30 pips on that 1k at the top. Compile this, come back, run the same bot. If it's something that starts working, then I'll just I'll rename the name, for the proper name. So we're just running that Martingale with the daily still, but we, we've actually got 150 pips stop on it now. We blew up the account the last run after 4,000 trades. So we know how to blow up the account. That's easy, right? We want to we wanna get the right robot to do the right thing for us here. Do the right thing, son. You know better. Now, there it had a nice streak, right? But it's going to get, probably get blown up, too. Stops too wide. Look at that thing. Just skim through the bottom of that. That's amazing. Without any money management. Jesus. That's because we keep scalping off that bottom ticket and taking those 20 pips off those big tickets. See? So you can already see the effects of your of the adjustment of that trade plan. So, okay, you didn't blow it up. How can I improve on it? I'm going to say, well, let's just go fucking uh, medieval here. I'm going to put in a stop here that can accommodate this meltdown, a soft stop. We'll get in 10 pips apart on the way out. There's going to be no best, but I'm, I'm going to try to estimate what this is going to do to the equity. And and I should have a feel for um, about a soft 10 pip stop. Soft 10 means every ticket's 10 pips apart. This is very aggressive trading. You know, this is you can be up and down thousands of dollars here. Are you ready for that? But this big soft stop, we could probably hold on to this whole position through this. So we have 15, 150 pips stop, and we start to widen it out to accommodate this. I'm going to come in about, um, put a, a 50 pip stop on this last ticket. 150 pips deep. Now we're going to get in here. It's still 20 pips apart. 130. 110 pips deep. This is going to be uh, 900 pips, 90 pips deep. And this will be 70. So 20 pips apart. Kind of coming in uh, as lost leaders here big time. Now we're going to try to make uh, 50 pips off the bottom with the 50 pip stop. So break even at the bottom. We're, we're some break even. 110 pips below we exit from where we at. We'll do uh, 20 pips apart on the way out. So 90 down. We'll get a little greedy on this one. We'll go for um, 60. And that let the rest go the way it is. Compile it. Come back. Oh, let's estimate. We'll probably get less fills. We got this spread out a big wide range now. I don't think we'll blow up the account, but I think we'll make a little bit more money. 7,500 trades on that last one. Just scrape by without destroying the account. Almost went to zero. That's crazy. Okay, skip two. I'm just going to have to have that turned on all the time. So less, uh, that was the big drawdown there. So last time it was zero. We could blow up this account, though. I suppose we will. Just kind of nicked the bottom there. I finally blew it up, see? Too wide, too wide of a stop. This is what blew it up, I think, the very end of that. Let's try to rewrite the script better. If I put all the tickets deep, we don't start buying until uh, we're down like uh, uh, 800 pips here. 
900, 1100, or we'll just go 100 pips with start buying. 120 pips deep. Uh, now we got to make this guy go deep. That's going to be 170. Super deep here. 130 pips deep. And I'll make this one 130. This is 10 pips away. Big cluster down here. Uh, keeping that stop the same. Soft. Softish. Keep the take profits the same. So it's, it just got greedier. We're going to buy deeper, but keep our exits at the same price. Let's see if we can get that kind of crazy retrace. So it's really looking for a particular greedy trade. It rarely happens. I think the scalp bot was making more money. Less trading though. So this would be a super deep buy. Turn off the visual mode so we jump right to the graph. Wow, it's over. That was fast. So hardly filled. But it didn't make it didn't so it only filled these big catastrophic sell offs. Okay, let's go back to the uh, canvas machine. So I was working on this, uh, that, that concept. Here's a 12 hour. We start buying at 80. This is the real thing, 80 to uh, 170 with a 20 pip, 200 pip stop every 12 hours. Start this one. Buy only. Right, so this does not, this almost blows up, but this does better than that bot for the reasons of what's inside the script. The, this big run here is probably the best performance, um, longest running performance. But it did make it to a bit, make it to fourteen. We got we up uh, five grand almost, and now we're down um, like twenty or or ten down ten thousand, up five thousand, down ten thousand. Slowly getting killed here. But there's no there's no money management on that. Let's compare that to the um, empty fours robot they give you for free and the we're just going to run it um, whatever the canned numbers are for the long side start and this does have money management this has a trailing stop in it I guess we just blew it out okay well there you go Maybe every tick we'll do the visual mode to slow it down. Of course, it is on the one-hour chart, which is a problem. But I think it does run a trailing stop here. It takes profits uh, when it sees fit. And it's, a, it's I got to set it in buy only mode, so that's not fair, really. Because you can hedge here, so let me turn on both sides. I believe with the money management, you do want to go long and short because you want to cash out as it goes into the win and then reverse possibly. And I could flip the math on this. If it loses, maybe I maybe I open up the robot and do a little edit. See, see I would have picked up that on the limits. I don't know if this thing's really setting the world on fire. It's supposedly here. It's short right now. God, what a stupid fucking bot. See, that's when I'm making money. So, is that possible? Can I flip the uh, the bot? I should open it up and take a look. Uh, 
Oh, jeez. It's just getting whipsawed. And, of course, I don't know where it's set to. The criteria in the robot could be wrong. On the four-hour chart, it's going to do better, I think. If it does good at all. Let's take less signals now. So just smooth out the data. MT4 trades for me. Right out of the box, I made money. It's crazy. Yeah, that's going to be a real... Let's skip to the end of the story here. That's not killing it. It's not destroying the accounts, not making any money. Oh, here we go. It's the Holy Grail. Yeah, pretty tough. Moving average crossover system. Look at that. It's making money. Who am I to say? Look, I just built the Holy Grail. I'll be sending the settings out on this. It's all about the settings. It uh, just happens to do it. But look at all these trades. Look at all the sideways action. So there's no drawdowns here. I don't see this uh, equity. Red line's right behind the. Okay, it's having some. It's having some luck there. I think it's a typical settings. It's on Goober settings out of the box. I haven't changed it. So this with my uh, limit bot. Just have the whole thing. This is trading 10Ks, I think. A single ticket. Oh, it just got its ass kicked. It's doing so well. Oh, another back to the drawing board. Oh, jeez. Thought I built the Holy Grail again. Oh, well, better luck next time. Anyways, that's my... Um, Expert advisor uh, uh, on my robot building here. I'll just put a link to these robots. There's all sorts of crazy shit in here. But yeah, you want to trade that on demo first. The MACD bot. Here's the moving average bot. Look at the code on this shit. You lose your mind. Maximum risk. I guess it has money management stuff built in here. That's pretty cool. We appreciate that. But that this must be how many lines of code in this thing? Yeah, not too bad. Moving average twelve. Moving average shift. Yeah. I guess if we make those numbers, invert the numbers, I think that would be how you do it. If you flip these numbers around, it would take a trade in the opposite direction. Make the moving average bigger than the shift or something. Or shift, shift bigger than the moving average. Maybe that will do it. Play her off that. Be very fascinating. It's very fascinating. Oh, really? You do that too? Yeah. So we blew up the account. No, not too bad. I'm just gonna flip these numbers just for fun. And we tricked the robot. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put six here and twelve on the other one. That'll trick him. I mean, those hedge funds won't see that coming. They'll wait till they see what I've been doing. They're already tracking my credit score. They say it's pretty low because I cuss too much. I didn't think it would affect it. Look at that. Can't even fucking buy a beer. Well, you can buy particular things. We're going to control your behavior till you we make a perfect citizen out of you. Do you understand? You ever seen Clockwork Orange? We're going to make you perfect citizen. Citizen Zero. Everybody's going to copy you, son. Really? Be proud of be proud uh what the super you be the first super race hero. 
Oh, that's, yeah, well, I, gosh, I didn't know you cared. So I'm just going to start this. I inverted the numbers. Holy shit, what's this going to do, this poor robot? If it starts making money, I'll be laughing. Laughing all the way to the bank. I told it to go against, against what it normally does. I don't think it's helping. <laughs> Although I see it said sell. It looked like a great trade to me. But I see equity going down. I don't get it. Oops. It's all in the money management. As long as you have a trailing stop. Skip to the end. I just want to see what happened. Oh, man. Come on. But it's fun to play with, isn't it? My son has a robot. You should see what he built. Oh, John, he did a good job. It. Look, it's not changing the fucking man. Hey, he's making more money. Look at that. I told you that's a secret. Just do what everybody's not doing. Let's take a little hit here, but I'm confident. I'm confident. It's all in the settings. No, actually, believe it or not, you could just take this MACD and write 10, 10 on this moving average crossover, run, write 10 anti-bots, 10 contrarian bots here and be fine. Look, it's doing all right. It's doing better trading against itself, isn't it? Switch the settings around. Secret. It's even got a trail. I think it's got a trailing stop. You can set that how you want. Just flip it to, uh, that's it, 6 by 12 That's instead of 12 by 6 Oh, it's still taking that hit, though. You know, that has to do with volatility. So it's on the wrong side. Of the, it's not that it's on the wrong side of the market, see. It's the volatility crushed it. That's probably the weekend. But a gap opened against you. Oof. I hate when that happens. I hate when that happens. Gosh, look at this thing. You can set it to do all crazy stuff like double up and it's hilarious. You can set these uh, robots up for failure real easy. Optimization. Look, here's the settings. Maximum risk. Just put some jumbo fucking number in there. I don't even know. I don't even understand this shit. I never will. See, I changed that in the code. Didn't seem to change it here, did it? <laughs> Increase factor, decrease factor. Maximum risk. Is that two percent? Point two percent. Here, let's let's see if it makes any difference. I don't know what the fuck happened here. I'm gonna say point uh, five. Oh, fuck that. Just make it maximum risk 5%. And steps? Um, two step it, baby. And we're starting here and we're just going to go up. And your market set trade, you bitch. So we're going to trade against the market. You can do it. Good old moving average. Uh oh, I think we just blew up the account. That didn't last long. See see what happens there when you got a little crazy with the risk? Boom. First trade out of the gate. Boom. Gone. See it's allocating it's allocating how big it's gonna trade on that trade. Oops. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Sir, what were you thinking? That seemed like a good idea at the time. Let me just recompile that. Instead of going back to edit that, we'll just come back to a recompiling. Try to get this thing back on the right track. It's a nine mile back. All right, it's gonna it's gonna be a another. Check the properties. I guess we just went too hard on that. We'll say one percent. Uh, stepping at uh, point. Zero. Uh, 
two stops and stops at ten. Now that put that in for me. This is a maximum, I guess. Man, I wish somebody explained this page to me. Lots. It's trading at 10K. So this increase factor is going to really affect it. <sighs> yes, it will. All right. Just blew it up. Oh, well. I thought it would work. Always test your ideas before you look how things just rock bottom. Yeah, I think the settings are too strong on that. We doubled down. Oh, it's hanging on by a thread. Look at that. Oh, my God. That's incredible. It did work out one trade off there. Oops. Well, that's just going to last long. <laughs> Wait, it's coming off the floor. It's, it's doubling down. Oh, wow. It's a little too aggressive. I have to change my trailing stop, too. We should put the math back to a normal crossover. Yeah, I can see I can see getting a, 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 some of these moving average bots, uh, settings, running them. Change the magic number, I think. I'm going to try this coming into uh, tonight's market open. I'll start some moving average bots running. Change the comments. Try to get it to... I'll name the comment. Would be named... Uh, if I built uh, these moving average bots, they would be built upon... The name would include the crossover, I guess, chart shift. Moving average and chart shift, and whether we have trailing stop or not in the size... Look at that recovery. I must have been holding a position for... Oh, plus we're on the four-hour chart. Let's go to the one-hour chart. I forget about that, too. I might do better on the one-hour chart. Wow, it just trades based on the moving average. That's a trip. That's getting its ass kicked. Still gets his ass kicked, though. A lot faster. How about the dailies? Hey, look at that sell in the daily. That was brilliant. But see, it did not take profits. I mean, it's stupid. Oh, shit, it just sold 10. It just sold 10. Oh, my God, that multiplier factor. I should have never put that in there. I just sold a monster size. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's a trip, man. That thing's, I guess it's looking at the balance of your account, or it's just saying increase by this. God's got a shitty target, doesn't it? I have to change that. Oh, fuck here. Anyways, it goes on forever. So good luck with that. I'll post these uh, these robots in the link. 